So, what if you do everything right? You get the shot, you wear the mask, and you still get infected. I think there probably are more breakthrough infections out there than we know about. I was sick. I was surprisingly sick. KPI 5's Alan Martin here now with what you need to know about breakthrough infections and the steps that you can take to protect yourself and your family. Yeah, Alan. there are things, and we know that no vaccine is 100% effective, Ken, Juliet. We spoke with one fully vaccinated pediatrician who proved it the hard way. On Thursday morning in the Mission District, the line grows long. In the crowd, fully vaccinated individuals asking for a COVID test. Someone who I work with, fully vaccinated, tested positive. Not too long ago, testing slowed down with zero positives at the Latino Task Force Hub. This last week, we tested close to 400 people, and we had a positivity rate of closer to 8%, which is a dramatic difference from just June. And a good chunk of those people that tested positive were fully vaccinated. Delta is driving the surge. While the unvaccinated make up the vast majority of new cases, hospitalizations, and deaths, these breakthrough infections are catching many by surprise. I have so often opened my, you know, my results and seen the negative result that seeing the positive result was sort of surreal. UCSF pediatrician Marissa Raymond Flesh is fully vaccinated. On June 15th, when California reopened, nearly all pandemic safeguards vanished. In July, the doctor took a tiny steak with her family. I went on a boat ride in the San Francisco Bay um, and then I ate outdoors once. We've had some very small gatherings with friends but uh, who were fully vaccinated. By then, Delta had arrived in the Bay Area. Twice as transmissible as what the earlier ones were. Um, that can spread like wildfire. UCSF infectious disease expert, Dr. George Rutherford. He says the unvaccinated are the underbrush feeding the flames. The vaccinated are the collateral damage. You as a vaccinated person have more and more risk of being, being exposed. I was sick. I was surprisingly sick. Dr. Raymond Flesh, she suspects she caught COVID outdoors. Which is a bit scary. Then she unwittingly gave the virus to her unprotected two-year-old. I I was terrified. I was really, really scared. CDC data suggests infected vaccinated people can carry a large amount of the Delta variant in their nose and mouth. That can put unprotected loved ones in danger. They can still be um, transmitters of the virus to unvaccinated people. Dr. Stephen Thomas is tracking the long-term safety and efficacy of the Pfizer vaccine at 150 sites around the world. The scientist said at six months, the vaccine continues to strongly protect against severe illness and death, but its power wanes over time, about 6% every two months. A problem if the virus is surging in the community. Really uh, increases the ante on us getting people vaccinated as quickly as possible. It takes weeks before a newly vaccinated person can develop immunity. The quickest remedy? We can wear masks. That is going to break chains of transmission. Dr. Diane Havler is an infectious disease expert at Zuckerberg San Francisco General. In addition to masking, we can also have more testing. If a person's been exposed to somebody who has active COVID, then they should go and get tested. They can find out if they have COVID and take the appropriate action. One way to dramatically increase vaccinations is now in the hands of the FDA. It's very important to license the vaccine because there are still a lot of individuals who are concerned that it's an experimental vaccine. Infectious disease specialist Dr. William Schaffner, he says once the FDA officially approves and licenses a COVID vaccine, it will be easier to require it. There are many entities, governmental and private, who would, if the vaccine were licensed, issue mandates. As for Dr. Raymond Flash, she believes without a doubt getting vaccinated saved her from landing in the hospital or worse. Her entire family recovered. I am so grateful for my vaccine, and I genuinely hope and plead with anyone who is eligible to get a vaccine that they get vaccinated. Now, information on breakthrough infections is limited because asymptomatic people may not be getting tested, and the CDC only tracks the serious cases. What's most important to know is that the vaccine will almost certainly save your life 
if you do get infected. So let's break down some numbers. According to the CDC's most recent data, more than 163 million Americans, about half the population, are fully vaccinated. 6,587 breakthrough patients have been hospitalized or died. That's about 0.004%. Ken Juliet, nearly three quarters of those serious breakthrough cases, those involve people who are 65 or older. Mm. All right, the key, keep getting vaccinated.